Special guest Bad Nerves is on this. Don't know them, but I like Royal Blood a lot. Tuesday, September 19th is when it's going to go down at the world-famous Agora Theater. Go to agoracleveland.com to get anything I might have left out. These uh, tickets for you. Call her 10. You got a pair for Royal Blood. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Why does everybody have to be on all the time these days? I can't turn it off. No, seriously. People are wondering why this guy is even on. Let's turn it off. Alan Cox on 100.7 WMMS. There's a lot of good rock and roll on the iHeartRadio Music Festival this year, which is not always the case. So I will have another trip to Vegas for a little over an hour away, 5.30 all week. Uh, Keyword to put you and a pal in Vegas. It's the 22nd and 23rd of September. So we'll send you out for that weekend. Foo Fighters, Fall Out Boy, Lenny Kravitz, Public Enemy, Sheryl Crow, 30 Seconds to Mars, and more. There's a lot of pop acts. There's country acts. Mary likes those. She does. <clears throat> um, I don't know who the people are on the countryside. Um, who are the people? Patrick. Sorry, Kane Brown. Mm-hmm. I think we have a picture of him in our kitchen, don't we? Do. we? Yes. Get that goofy looking mug. Well, I'll give you the full lineup. I gave you the rock. Because that's what I care about. Kelly Clarkson, Lil Wayne, Miguel, Tim McGraw, TLC. Whoa. And many more. So the 22nd and 23rd, these aren't even on sale. So the trips that I'm giving you this week are before everybody else goes out and buys the tickets. So uh, 530, I'll have that next keyword for you. I think three times a day, uh, Rover, Stansbury, and me, you can get one of those trips. So 5.30. I was uh, listening to somebody, I don't remember who it was, talking about, it was some movie nerd thing. And they were talking about, it's it's a, a known fact in Hollywood that they really had to fight for Robert Downey Jr. to play Iron Man. Um, the thing I was listening to was about a guy that, a lot of people don't don't realize started the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's a guy named Kevin Feige, who everybody thinks started the thing, but he wasn't the guy. There was a guy named David Maisel, who was the guy who said who wanted to start making movies of Marvel comic books. And how this guy has kind of been written out of the history of Marvel Studios, but he was the guy who started the whole thing. It was his brainchild. And he was just an agent, and he wanted to run a studio. And he thought, hey, we could just start a movie studio based on these comic book movies. And, of course, the very first one was Iron Man. There had been movies before that, Marvel comic book movies, but the Marvel Cinematic Universe started with Iron Man. But it was a huge gamble because... Different people wanted different people. And they had raised about a half a billion dollars at the time. You're talking 2006, 2007. And so you're kind of playing with house money when you have people like, yeah, here's all this money to make this movie. And so they got John Favreau, who had come off directing Elf. So he had a lot of heat because Elf was massive. And he told them what a big fan he was of not just the Iron Man comic book, they had done a focus group with kids who read comic books. And that's how they landed on Iron Man, this guy David Maisel, who started the studio. He just had a bunch of kids in a focus group and said, what superhero are you a big fan of? And strangely, they came back with Iron Man. Like, I never, I I grew up reading Marvel comics and, and everything, but... Iron Man never scratched me where I itched. I don't know why. Movie was great. But famously, they really had to fight to get Robert Downey Jr. because he was a recovering addict. You know, this is 15 years ago. Now people think of Robert Downey Jr. and they're like, oh, my God. And one of those real addicts, right, Alan? Not the ones that uh, just do gambling? Right. (laughs) 
actual addictions. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Uh, had a, uh, a drug addiction, and um, but he was getting himself in pretty good shape. But they were nervous because they were like, we're not going to be able to insure this guy. You have to be able to insure people on a movie set. But he had gotten, uh, you know, pinched for coke and heroin, and he had a gun that wasn't his, that kind of stuff. He was on the outs. And so John Favreau was really going to the mat for Robert Downey Jr., but the studio wasn't really on board. You know who was going to be Iron Man? Timothy Oliphant was going to oh. be Iron Man, who you know from a lot of other movies. The TV show Justified, he was in the Santa Clarita Diet, he was in The Office for a season, I think. Wasn't he a, a dude later in The Office? Yeah, he was a dude in The Office, he was a uh, hitman, yeah. In the Hitman, yeah, yeah, video game movie. But imagine a world in which Timothy Oliphant had become Iron Man. Now, would the movie have been so big? Don't know. Don't know. A lot of different things. But this David Maisel guy would later on arrange the sale of Marvel to Disney, and that was a $4 billion sale. And um, then they made all these other movies. But I like Timothy Oliphant a lot. Me He's too. a big fan of Justified. I think, you know, we have Michael Rappaport in here a couple of months ago, and he was on a couple of seasons. He played a bad guy on Justified. And I was a big, big fan of that show. They're bringing it back. They're doing like a new, he's back in Detroit. It's I think it's on Netflix. It's I don't know when it's premiering. Justified something or colon something or other. But Tim the Elephant as Iron Man would have been wild. I also forget that Jeff Bridges was the bad guy in the first Iron Man. He was Obadiah Stane. Shaved his head, gave him a beard. It's great, isn't it? Great. Jeff Bridges can take a terrible movie and make it kind of watchable. He's a good actor. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is a good actor. What number is that? <laughs> Tom Hanks and Jeff Bridges are good actors. I like to Tom me. Hanks. Yep. And Jeff Bridges is Jeff a good actor. Bridges is a good actor. <laughs> That's like one and two or two and three. That's up Might there. Might be. I, I got to really dig. I, sh this should be on top. Somebody tell my assistant that this should be on top. Hey, at Alan, all times. put that on top. Are you Thank his you. assistant? No, he's his own assistant. I'm my own assistant. Oh. That's right. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that is. Where the Mary Santora? Oh, there it is. Contrary Santora. That's me. You know me. Mm -hmm. I like Tom Hanks. I do. That was number one. <laughs> I do like Tom Hanks. This is kind of the companion piece to the pound cake glossary, which I have to say we haven't added to in some time. Because for a while, it was a novelty that Pound Cake would toss these words out. But then it just kind of became part of his charm. I've been doing good. <laughs> yeah, With Stain was the last one we got from him, and that was a while ago. Oh, how could I forget With Stain? Yeah. And before, <laughs> that, before that, it was Black Toast Intolerant, and that was, even, that was a long time oh, ago. Oh, I don't even remember that. I mean, I remember you don't remember it. Black Toast Intolerant? No, I do, but I just yeah. don't remember. I think that was so long ago that I don't. I was, was, on, the this, that was, was like, on the show. That was on the show, though. That was on the old studio, but it was like during the pandemic. Okay, so I yeah. think I, I think I just aired it in a sum up show not long ago. <laughs> they live forever. Pound cake was little. He thought it was black toast intolerant, <laughs> <laughs> which he is. <laughs> well, that's why I thought I was like you burn toast. Like I thought it could make you sick, so I thought it was that it toast. Listen, was you burn anything, you got carcinogens in it, so you're technically not wrong. And I thought the same chemicals that were in, like, black toast, like burnt toast, was in, like, milk. And it would make people... I Wait, black was... toast and... Oh, oh but lactose. I got, okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I thought, like, the same chemical that was in the burnt toast was also in milk. And that chemical, some people had reactions to it. And it would make them allergic to milk or where it would just sit wrong. So I would... I like how complicated the thought process is when the, when the facts are so simple. That's what I like. But I, no, Cody the, the, makes up whole stories. I just don't ask enough questions. Like, I'd be well, like, oh, yeah, black well, toast no one, no one explained me what lactose was. But I can see a black toast. We're used to him working backwards as a grown-up. But he's talking about when he was a little kid. And these are, it's really fascinating how your brain connected one uh, fact to another. Well, because I. I, I experienced it myself. I was like, oh, yeah, when I have black toast, it really makes, like, it's nasty. <laughs> it really makes it but, but, okay, but how often were you eating burnt toast? Some, sometimes. Like, if I burnt it and we yeah. ran out of toast, like, that was it. That's so all was, you had, yeah. No more toast. So I was like, oh, wow, there, there's chemicals and or, like, whatever 
whatever molecules yeah, are in this carcinogens. Burnt, <laughs> this burnt toast is probably in the milk or the dairy products, and it makes people sick. So that it, but that doesn't make any sense. How? Because then you would know that the word was lactose and not black toast. No, I didn't. I didn't know what lactose was. Or you're was. saying that you didn't know lactose was in milk. You thought. No, he knew it was. He somehow. No, how I didn't he, know what lactose was. But how did you connect the toast to the milk? Because you thought it was black toast. Right. So how does that have anything to do with milk? I thought it was the, the blackness of the toast that was like. That got people sick, and I know because my brother would like. Get but how sick. did you connect? Mary and I are asking the same question. Milk. How did you attribute that to milk or connect it to milk? It wasn't just milk; it was dairy products. How did you connect b- burnt toast to dairy products? That's what we're saying. If you didn't know what lactose was, then you didn't know that lactose was in dairy products. Black toast obviously isn't in milk because people would say well, people would say lactose, but I didn't know what black toast. I thought it was lack. People would say lactose, but I was thinking it was black toast. So I just assumed. You'd that, hear them I, say the word and ignore it. Because of what I, my biases, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my biases. So he knew the real word and was like, that's not it. But I, did, I knew what black toast was. I didn't know what lactose was. So I just thought they were speaking really fast like I do. There's words that I misunderstand or I, I misspeak because I'm saying so fast. I just love no, so there's fast. never any follow-up questions. Mm-hmm. Never. If what? I heard somebody say something and I, I go, what? What? And they're, they're not going to go, black toast, it's in milk. Right, that's you what go, I mean. You go, what? Like, you heard people say the word lactose, and you never said, what is yeah, that? My, you never said, what is that? Three words, what is that? Yeah, I, I, I never did. My mom would say lactose intolerant, and, and I thought it was black toast intolerant. Um, or, you never said, mom, what does that mean? I guess not. Wow. She's I, a nurse. She could have explained. But you had heard the word. You I had, had heard, heard the word I lactose. Had, I had heard the word, but and I thought. And chose to ignore it. I thought it was black toast. <laughs> I thought it was. I just thought it was. No, That's no. Listen, it's it wild. It's wild. It, you, Story's full of holes. We Craig. don't. We don't have a. Okay. Just like <laughs> the cheese that has lactose in it. Um, yeah. No. It, yeah. No. I. I we, we. We. don't have a time machine, but I mean, I'm. I'm fascinated by that moment in time. Yeah. I. I just knew that it was like my brother would. All, it, it, and it seemed to happen around breakfast time because we would have milk and cereal or and you toast. Know, we would have toast. So that's how I. Court, and he's like. Oh, Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. Mm-hmm. Your brother would say that. Yeah. How did he know that word and you didn't? He's I don't know. Older. I also used to say. But isn't your brother like two years older? He's three years older. Mm. But I also I also used to say the devil instead of the devil. So. Well, yes, we were all kids and m- mispronounced things. That's different than thinking that black toast particles are in milk. Blake calls them doubled eggs, and I think that's the cutest thing. I think a lot doubled of kids eggs. say doubled, doubled eggs. eggs. Yeah, my brother yeah. said that when that we were kinda little. kind of makes more sense than deviled eggs. <laughs> I know, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. You got to hard boil them and scoop it out. Double them. <laughs> yeah, no, no follow-up questions. All right. I guess I, I'm not, I, I know as a person who doesn't ask follow-up questions, that's not the part that confuses me. You knew that there was the another connection word. connection to milk. Well, he knew there was another word that people were saying, and he disregarded it. No, I didn't. I thought they were saying black toes. I thought they were saying black toes. Like, I didn't think it, I didn't know what lactose was. I knew what black toast was because I saw black toast. I can't see a lactose. I can't tell if you're lactose intolerant by looking at you. So, your brother, wait. So, your brother wasn't drinking milk or not eating toast? He was, no, he was. (laughs) Eating both, like he would still drink milk. But if he, he was, was lactose intolerant. but if he was, if you thought he was black toast intolerant, why was he eating it? I don't know. He just he enjoys uh, himself. I don't know. He still drinks milk and has ice cream, even though he's lactose intolerant. Hmm. All right. Yeah, these poor people. Mary too. The, the lengths people will go to enjoy something that they know is just gonna. Destroy their guts. It's not all the time. Yeah, no, yeah. I know, but I mean, it happens, right? It does. Where you, well, you say, is this worth a diarrhea? Do right, I, yeah, do I, I feel like being completely uncomfortable for the next twelve to thirty-six hours, and then you go? It just from there. doesn't seem. And again, uh, we're beating a dead horse here, but it just doesn't seem like anything would be worth feeling like that for a day and a half. Well, it depends on how much you eat. Where yeah. it's like, it's like how much you drink. How much milk is gonna make me hungover? <laughs> 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 how 
much ranch hell of a can milk I have over over here, bro? <laughs> Until yeah. Until I'm so ranch hungover. What's the is sour cream the thing that gets you the worst? Sour or? cream's real bad. Um, ice but cream. like ice cream, like like liquid cream, heavy cream, mm-hmm. anything with that in it, or buttermilk or regular milk. That's that's what really really kills me. You don't have to worry about buttermilk because regular milk will do it. Would you like me to get my brother to call to see if he can explain this? No, to you? I just love your telling of it. I like the retelling of it. Yeah, you're trying to get me to get back into my six, seven, eight year old mind, and I don't, I don't know how I justified it. I, but that's just what it was. I agree with you. None of us could get back there and figure it out. But Mary still thinks Jeff Bridges is a good actor. Well, yeah, I mean, jelly is not chocolate. Yes. There are a lot of sports. So many sports. I like harmonicas. Oh, I, I remember like, that one. I like baked beans. I do like baked beans. You only know what you know, which is a corollary to pound cakes. What? You don't know. Oh. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. Is that yeah. what it is? Mm-hmm. You don't know. Bitch. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plagiarize. Yeah, I used pla- my own I'm words. Quoting you, dummy. You're in the bibliography. You're like, uh, yeah, you're like Plato or Socrates or something Still like that. My intellectual property. Uh, yeah, it's his IP. Right. You don't know what you don't know until you know you it. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. Uh, or people think it be like it be, but it. People don't think it be like it be, but it do. The ground can't be the sky. That was a big argument that day. I don't want to promote Hitler, but. <laughs> I never said but. <laughs> Why do I have it written down? Oh, maybe your uh, assistant no. isn't as studious. To my <laughs> assistant, she's fired. Air does what it wants. That Old one. people are fat in a different way. I stand by every single one of these. I saw. Uh, I'm not asking you to 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 uh, explain any. Of, that's right. Do not recant. I can't drink a whole glass of spit. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you still can't. Most twenty dollar bills have been near a butt. Also true. And there are alcoholics in France. <laughs> that's the most recent addition to that. Uh, and that was some time ago. So I've um, maybe collectively we've been somewhat lax in uh, keeping up with the pound cake glossary or uh, contrary Santora there. But um, again, I don't feel we're uh, any worse for it, but it's uh, fun to look back on those and, and pound cakes, black toast intolerant. I've got to take a break. If you want.